Uh, it's been about three months or so since everything changed on us, right? Um, I am personally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I hope that you are too. Now, that doesn't mean like everything is gonna quickly go back to normal, um, and we're not even exactly sure what normal is gonna be, but I can see the possibility of getting to um, a more normal life, and it feels like a really good time to make some plans. Uh, there's been, I feel like well, I've had enough time to adjust to all the restrictions that we have on our daily lives. Um, and if you're like me, you're over that initial shock, right? It's been a few months, the, the initial shock is gone. Now it's kind of adjusting to it. So as we start to shed the burden of this pandemic, it's time to think about what you're doing next. You may have used these months as a break you may have gone full throttle with your business, with your life, or likely you fell somewhere in between. And wherever you fell is completely fine. Um, and right now, this particular time, I feel is an enormous opportunity. It's a really good opportunity to make changes, either to create new things or to let go of old worn out things that don't serve you anymore. It's really the perfect time to decide how do you want your business to be and how do you want to be as the business owner? So we're going to use our time today to map out a plan that will help you move forward the way that you want to move forward. While there's a lot out of our control, what's 100% within our control is our decisions on how we're going to, um, how we're going to move forward into the future. So it can look a lot like it did before the pandemic, or it could be very different. It's completely up to you. So we're gonna do several exercises today, and I wanna start with a visualization exercise, a visualization exercise of taking a glimpse into your future that's gonna set the stage that will help you decide what your plan looks like. So I will talk you through this. What I want you to do Wherever you're seated, I want you to be comfortable in your seat. I want you to put down anything you might have in your hands. You don't need to take notes for this particular thing right now. You will in a few minutes and I'll tell you when. But get comfortable in your seat. Maybe you have your feet flat on the ground so you feel grounded. And I'm gonna ask you to take a nice deep breath, breathing in. And as you breathe out fully, just gently close your eyes. Take another nice deep breath in. And then a nice full exhale. Really start to relax and settle in. Another nice full deep breath in. Full release. And we're gonna take that trip to the future. You're gonna do that by building a time machine. You're gonna build a time machine that will take you safely to the future and back. So take a few moments to visualize your personal time machine. It can look however you want it to look. And once you have it in your mind, I want you to step into it and set the coordinates for the near future. You're going to give yourself a preview of what it's going to look like. So set the coordinates and hit the go button. And once you arrive in the future, take a good look around. What does it look like? What are you doing? Who are you doing it with? Where are you? Have a nice long look at what your future is looking like for you and your business. Really paint a picture so you can see the details, you know what's happening, you can feel the emotions of being in your business, being in your life in the near future. And I'll give you a few more moments to really be here, immerse yourself in it so you really know what it looks like and what it feels like. Notice who you're working with. Notice where you are. Are you in an office space? Are you home? Do you have a team of humans around you? 
Are you accompanied solely by your dog? Who's around you and what are you doing? What does your work look like? Are you doing the same work in a different way? Are you doing different work? It can be whatever you want it to be. Now I'm going to call you back to the present. So in your time machine, you want to hit the coordinates for the present time and return to the now. And once you get back to the present, I want you to take a couple of minutes to write down what you saw in the sneak peek of your, of your future. What did the preview show you? This is going to be the basis that we're going to create the plan for. So come back open your eyes and start to take some notes. And I'll give you a few moments to do that. is to start to wrap up your notes and you can add to them after this call. You of course can add eat whatever you want to it. What I want to do now is start to get ready for the real trip that you're going to take to the future. We're all going to do it. So let's figure out how. Uh, so Every big trip really requires packing. You know, that's one of the first things that we have to do. So the step number one is deciding what are you gonna pack to bring with you into the future? So to help you decide, um, here are some questions you can consider. You can ask yourself, what have you learned during these past few months that helps you in the future? It could be surprising things, new things. Um, what do you want to change about your business? Or what do you want to change in your life? What are changes you know you want to make? What do you want to bring with you? What specifically do you want to bring? So as you pack this suitcase, you can bring whatever serves you in the future. You can include things that you've always done. You can include ways that you've always been. You can include brand new things like new ideas that you have. Um, new connections that you've made. Maybe you've met people who can really help you with your business or you want to collaborate with. Or maybe it's um, an idea that you had a while ago, but you weren't ready to do it yet and now feels like a good time. So it could be a new idea for a change you want to make in your business, a new program, a new offering, um, you know, new habits. Maybe you want to change your business model. Uh, it could be more self-care time. You know, this has been a great time to lay hands on ourselves and, and really take care of ourselves. So maybe you want to bring more self-care into the future. Maybe it's more time to exist, uh, to nurture your existing clients, or maybe it's time to pivot to a brand new kind of client. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to draft out your packing list of what you definitely want to take. So write out the, this is coming with me list.
here, like another minute on this, and know that you can always go back to it. You can always add anything you want to add. Don't we always throw in something at the last minute before we leave on a trip? Yes, we do. We're going to move on. We're still going to think about packing. Um, and now we're going to talk about what doesn't come with you, what you're going to leave behind, what maybe you thought was going to come but doesn't fit anymore. So it's, I, it's always better to pack the right things instead of overpacking. So now it's time to consider what does not make the cut. That could be streamlining your business by paring down your offerings or narrowing your definition of your ideal client. Uh, maybe it's cutting out ways that you waste time or tasks that you either don't need to do or don't need you to do them. Maybe it's time to have somebody else do specific tasks. Maybe you've had to make some tough decisions on how you spend your money right now and you realize that things you spent your money on before you don't really need. You found better ways to do them. So those are things that you can leave behind. And also take a look at the first list that you wrote of what you wanted to pack. Do you really need all of it? My personal experience is whenever I pack for a trip, I lay out everything that I want to bring and then I give it another couple of passes. So I cut out about 50% of it because I tend to think, oh, I'm going to bring this just in case. So if you're bringing something just in case, give that another thought that you may not need it. You wanna be nimble in the future. You don't wanna be overburdened in the future. Remember, this is a great time to jettison what you really don't need. So take a couple of minutes and start to write out a list of what you're leaving behind. And again, could be physical things, could be old habits, could be limiting beliefs. We talked about that in a previous halftime. Um, you know, whatever is not serving you anymore, serving you, serving your business, leave it behind. This is the perfect time to make that change. Give you a few more moments on this. Be a little ruthless. You know, look at those just in case things and, and put them on the do not pack list. See how that feels. Are there activities that you do in your business that you really don't want to be doing? The types of clients you're working with. Are you doing the bookkeeping and you hate to do bookkeeping? Maybe it's time to give that to somebody else. Okay, I'll give you a couple more moments on that and then we're gonna move on to the next step. And the next step is next steps. Next steps and timing. So I wanna talk about that. Right now, there are a lot of states that are reopening. So it's a good time to determine your reopening period. When will you step out into the new future that you've envisioned for yourself? Can you do it now? Do you want more time? Do you wanna do it later? 
Will you do it all at once? Will you do it in stages? Whatever you decide is it's completely up to you. So to help you figure that out, I want you to choose three specific next steps that you want to take. So these are tasks. These are doable items. They're not entire projects that you're going to do. For example, next steps could be a phone call to somebody. It could be sending out a survey to your clients. It could be writing a newsletter. So it's a specific action step that you can just do. So write down at least three specific action steps. And when you're going to do them, that will help you start to craft the timing of this. And it will lead you down the path of, okay, after I do these, then I'm gonna do these things. And here's the timing for that. So it's a very easy way to understand when you are really gonna step into your future. So take a few minutes to figure out what are my next steps and when am I going to do them? And if it's, for some reason, if it's hard for you to figure out specific next steps, you can write down maybe broader strokes, but know that you're gonna have to go back and break down the broader strokes into specific steps. We don't, we don't, um, you know, if, one, if you wanna launch a new website, a to-do list item is not launch a new website. It's everything that leads up to it. So you want to, if launch a new website is one of your things, you have to start thinking about what are all the steps I have to do to get to that. You want to craft a new talk to help grow your business. Um, you, you know, what are all the steps you need to give yourself a block of time to do that. You need to think about the topic that you want to do. What does it look like? Is it definitely virtual? Will you have slides? Will you have someone help you with it? all of those little things that add up to the big thing. So whatever you can put down now is great, but know that at some point you need to get very, very specific. Give you a few more moments on that. Like everything else, you can go back to this and add to it, especially as you accomplish things you need to add to your to-do list. And the last thing that you want to do right now is figure out what support do you need to be able to move into the future successfully? It could be additional support that you give yourself, you know, so figure out what do I need to do to take care of myself to be able to do this? Or what do I need to do so that I can show up fully in my business so that I can really knock this out of the park? Maybe it's support you get from your family, from your friends, it could be from your team, could be from your peers, could be from your clients. Maybe it's reaching out to other professionals who can help you implement what you're envisioning. Maybe you've made connections with people you'd like to collaborate with. Maybe you've got great ideas for collaboration. So think about what kind of support you need. And as I mentioned before, um, if you would like the support of going through, having me um, talk through what you've come up with in this session, I'm happy to do that. Um, we can just schedule a 30 minute call for that and you can get the scheduling link by texting the word plan to 33777. So if you just send a text, you'll get the scheduling link. Um, you're not added to any email list. You're just simply scheduling a 30 minute call. So text the word plan to 33777 and we can talk through what you've come up with, especially good if you were stuck on something and you want to like work through a block. Okay. 
So take just a moment to think about what support you need. And then I want to open it up and see, you know, um, if people are willing to share what they've come up with and anything that might be surprising or, you know, interesting or anything like that. Okay, so if you'd like to share any part that you've come up with, either the vision for your future or your next steps or anything that's either on your packing list or your not packing list, um, why don't you unmute yourself and um, go ahead and share. Who's gonna be a brave soul? I think I unmuted. Bang. Oh, go ahead. Am oh. I on? Can yeah. everyone hear me? Yes. Gene will do Gene first, and then we'll go to Nancy. First, I'd like to sing an original song that I composed. No, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, the is, chorus. this is quite a platform with all of these uh, astute, beautiful women and men. OK. Um, the big, big, big thing that really stood out for me in terms of uh, what I need to leave behind, and that's probably a lot bigger than even the stuff I'm taking. I need to leave behind some of the not so great habits I've developed during this time. Uh, so I don't want to take with me sleeping late, staying up late, and anxiety about the money I charge. Nice. So was, those were big, big takeaways for me, or not takeaways. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Those are really big. And I, your point is so well taken. Sometimes what we decide to leave behind is more important than what we're taking. Nice. Thank you, Jean. Uh, Nancy. I actually also left behind fear of overcharging. So that, I guess that's pretty universal. But what I was concerned about is that in my next steps, it all involved things that I could do from here. And so I was wondering what everyone is doing to get over the fear of stepping out of the house. Because um, I realized none of them were out of the house. It was all um, things, you know, calling people and organizing things and updating this. But um, when do we actually feel okay about stepping out of the house and meeting with clients? Boy, that's a really great question. Um, I have some thoughts on that, but let me, before I jump in, who would like to share their thoughts on that? I'll do it. Virginia? Um, I, Nancy, I was in the same exact headspace uh, of my, my visualizations were all um, very much contained to, to my environment, my current environment. Um, I, I, I don't necessarily think you have to change that. I, I, I think I'm going to, I've been going out a little at a time. Um, but I, I think that, I mean, and listen, I, you may disagree. Uh, you know, I don't think things are going to get to normal for quite some time. Um, so I'm trying to adjust my, um, you know, my plans accordingly um, so that I can feel comfortable yet still try to be productive in a way that makes me comfortable. So I, I'm not trying to change that or push that. Um, you know, I know everyone has their own sort of timeline and their risk tolerance. And, you know, so I'm just speaking from my own personal uh, place that, you know, I totally hear you and I'm in a similar place, so. Virginia? Um, I, I think, um, so I organized yesterday with a group of women that I network with and I we meet for lunch and we can't meet for lunch, so we're gonna have a picnic in my backyard. 
And that way we can be distant from each other, but we can see each other. And it was interesting because everybody's like, I'm so excited to, to be present with people. And I had a conversation in my Tide Risers group last night about the casualness that has come out of this time. So I think there's opportunities to meet with clients or uh, people that help us with our business in a more casual setting, you know, like because it's necessary <laughs> because you can't go have a lunch or a coffee, but you can perhaps go for a walk or sit on a bench or something that, that so, so that's kind of the direction that I'm going in is because um, I really need people. I'm a, such an extrovert that I, I really need that people time. So um, I'm opening up my backyard. Nice. Is that your literal backyard and back of you? No, 